Stage one, one of our radars picks up what it thinks is an unidentified aircraft and uh, reports that to its central controlling uh, agency either in Germany or in Spain. We've got two of them in NATO. Stage two is that uh, the people in one of those coordinating centres uses the picture that it's been given, combines that with intelligence, indicators and warnings and a general feel for what's going on and decides whether that aeroplane needs to be investigated further. Stage three, if it decides that it wants to be investigated further, it will look at which one of the approximately 30 aeroplanes that are constantly on readiness inside NATO is the most appropriate and will alert that to get airborne to go and have a look at that aeroplane. Stage four, those aeroplanes will get airborne as quickly as they can, notionally within 10 minutes to uh, intercept, to get close enough to the aeroplane, to have a look what it is, look what it's doing, whether it's suspicious, uh, record what it's doing, escort it if it's particularly close to NATO's territory uh, until it leaves stage five. All of that information is reported back to the central control and then the aeroplanes will return to base.